Hey everyone, Dan and Leslie back for another Disney Dining Review. Tonight, we are headed to Boardwalk so that we can go to the Flying Fish. I've heard really good things about this ride. We've never been. We have not ever been. I think we actually had it scheduled at one point, but then canceled it for something, so. Did we? I, I, many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard really good things about this restaurant. The menu is somewhat limited, but that's okay if you do everything mm -hmm. on it really, really well. So it's I am very good. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to this. I think this is gonna be very good. Because it's in the name, flying fish, I have to get seafood of some kind. Uh, so yeah, that... especially after Toledo last time, yeah. like that giant <laughs> steak. I mean, they do have steaks here, but I'm not I'm not doing steak. Nope, nope. So we're really gonna try to lean towards whatever recommendations as far as the seafood goes, uh, but they've got some fantastic looking things here as far as like lobster bisque to scallops to fish to, I'm. it's just, I'm excited. It is just a pretty limited menu. There's not a ton of stuff on there. What about drinks? Any, any specialty cocktails? You know, there are a few specialty cocktails, but um, there, it's very limited there too. However, I don't know if maybe they're, they have a larger menu once we get there because that's what happened at Toledo. Um, so they've got an espresso martini, a peanut butter freeze, which is not happening today because I'm already cold. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, <laughs> I don't even wanna say it. It's 60 degrees here and we're freezing, so. <laughs> I know, I know. We're ridiculous, know. we understand. <laughs> uh, but there is a Boardwalk Cafe, but it's, once again, it's got like coffee. I don't know. I'm just not sure if we're gonna get a specialty beverage depending on what options they might have. Well, I mean, this is a great one to ask the recommendations from the wait staff. I will say that this is not a cheap restaurant. This is definitely a signature restaurant with entrees like in the 50s, $50. No children are coming with us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not unless they're paying their own way. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we are starving. We've had a bowl of cereal today, and we, we are actually not going to be even remotely close to late. We are going to be very early we're be very because early. we're going to be like, please let us in. We're so hungry. <laughs> our reserv it is Friday night. It is uh, our reservations for seven thirty-five. So we're going to try to get in just a few minutes early. We'll see if they let us in. I don't know. It's uh, it's probably pretty busy because this is a popular spot. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's go. behind us. We checked in 40 minutes ago, which was 20 minutes early, which means it's 20 minutes past our reservation time, and we are still out here in the cold, not starting off to a good night. So whenever I checked in, she said they, they were seating people right at reservation time, and I was like, okay, no problem, and then we came back into the restaurant about 10 minutes after our reservation time and questioned it. She was like, well, we're actually running like 20 minutes behind. So. We got set uh, 25 minutes after our reservation time, which was not the best start to the meal, but we are putting that under the bridge and we are going to enjoy some fabulous food here. I got the Cucumber Collins. It's really, really good and refreshing. So um, you definitely need to like cucumber. It's, it's very heavy on the cucumber flavor, but really, really good and well done. Um, they just brought the bread and the butter. The bread is made from a local bakery um, in Orlando and they make their bread, it's a sim simo simoline, uh, some kind of bread that has, it's made with potatoes and chives in it um, and then they make their butter in-house apparently so I'm kind of excited to try this. Okay, I of course got an old fashioned which um, it's, it's good. Big ice cube, which is a plus. Um, it's done pretty well. The bourbon is a little overpowering. The um, 
a simple syrup in there, but it's it's done pretty well. So I like that. Uh, the bread looks fantastic. For we did not get an appetizer because, quite frankly, none of them just really stood out to us. What we did do was we ordered um, two entrees with an accompaniment of sea scallops, which is an entree in and of itself. And there are just fewer of them with the accompaniments, but we wanted to try basically three entrees, all seafood. Leslie got the pasta, which is the newest thing on their menu. Um, I got the potato wrapped red snapper, which sounded really interesting. He said they wrap a uh, six ounce red snapper filet with very, very thin potatoes, sear that, and then finish it off um, baking, and then um, a side of the scallops with that. So I'm very, very excited about that. He said the red snapper has been on their menu for like 25 years, like since they opened. I didn't know they were here 25 years, but that's what he said. Food has arrived. This looks fantastic. So we're gonna try a scallop first. Mm. Scallops are done pretty well. Potato wrapped red snapper. That's a really meaty fish. I like the potato on the outside. It's very well done. This actually looks fantastic. Um, they're like little, I can't remember the kind of pasta, but they're like little pearl sized pasta. The pasta has a good flavor. The saffron that's on the bottom is really, really good. The shrimp was well done, and I like that they took the tails off already, so I didn't even have to worry about that. I'm pleased. Okay, so this is like chocolate on chocolate on chocolate. Like, oh my. Um, so, I'm here we go. I have a lot of chocolate. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is a lot of chocolate. Very good though. Very rich, but very good. Okay, I think we have ordered as much as we're gonna eat. We will finish this up at home. I have very mixed feelings about this place. But first, if you are looking to plan a magical vacation, whether it's to Disney destinations, cruise lines, universal, or all-inclusive resorts, we would absolutely love to help. Please reach out at fantasticalvacations.com. This, it just was kind of all over the place for me. Um, yeah, it would be like, Something not great would happen, and then they would kind of recover in a different way, and then it just it kind of bounced back and forth the whole night. It was a little weird. So let's let's just, let's just go through it. So we okay. we we showed up twenty minutes early. Um, that's on us. We, <laughs> for whatever reason, we're either running way late or we show up early. To we places. were starving today, though. We so. were hungry, so we showed up twenty minutes early and we checked in. Um, you can check into restaurants, table service restaurants. Uh, twenty minutes early is kind of the standard, like on the Disney app. But we checked in at the hostess stand, and she told you. She said that they were pretty much seating at reservation time. So I said, okay, no problem. We decided we were going to walk around the boardwalk a little bit and kind of shop and just kind of look around. Now look, I don't fault them for not seating us early. No. That's, we decided to show up early and we know full good and well, like if we're showing up early, we may not get set early and that's totally fine. But what I don't like is that if we show up early, 20 minutes early and we're there and then the reservation time comes and then it takes another 25 minutes to get called, that's unacceptable. And I know I'm gonna get someone commenting that says something to the effect of, well, it's Disney, it's busy, you know you're gonna have to wait. Look, after a decade of doing this, if you show up early to a table service restaurant, nine times out of 10, you're gonna get set early. And if not, you're almost definitely gonna get set at your reservation time. Or that, at least within five or 10 at minutes. At least within five minutes. That is what this reservation thing is for. That's why we're making yeah. reservations 60 days in advance. Used to be 180 days in advance, and that's why you get charged $10 per person if you don't show up for it. It kind of irritates me when it's 25 minutes after and we're not set yet. Then we get set at the table and it's another eight minutes before we ever see a server, which is <laughs> unacceptable. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> that being said, the server showed up and he was just, he was good. Like yeah. he was very nice. He had been there 15 years. He knew his stuff. He was pleasurable. He noticed that you had there was like some stuff in your glass, like, like some sea, sea, salt. sea salt, sea salt. There was sea salt in your empty water glass that they had set the table with, which on one hand, gross. Why do you set a dirty glass on a table <laughs> setting? On the other hand, the server caught it before we did. So yes. that was good. So yes. I'm just, I'm like, I'm all over the place here. So 
Let's just ambiance and theming. Yeah, so they went through a refurb about seven or eight years ago and- A $13 um, million dollar refurb, yes, which he- He did tell us that. Said a couple um, of times. And it, it's really beautiful in there. So what I love about it is that, so the name of the restaurant is Flying Fish and it's very elegantly themed to that. So there are um, like gl blown glass fish hanging from the ceiling, like- Flying, you might say. <laughs> you might say that. <laughs> um, the silverware all kind of looks like scale, like fish scales. Um, so they did a good job at making the fish theme very classy. Um, now, with that said, it's, I mean, it was a beautiful restaurant and it was quieter than some of the more elevated restaurants that we have been to. Because so, they had soft coverings everywhere. They had yeah. carpets, they had- uh, uh, Curtains. They, they had curtains, they had fabric covered chairs and banquettes. Yeah. And I do like the fact that you're not like this next <laughs> to the, the table next to you, like this. trying each other's meals. Yeah. There is space and there's banquettes in the middle of the restaurant yeah. between the tables. And so you're not like right up next to people. So I do like that. Yeah, that was very nice. So. Um, as far as elegance and kind of intimacy, all of that was really, really lovely. So yeah. we gave ambiance and theming a four. Service. Um, there were a couple other times that he was like really Johnny on the spot, but then there were some times that it took a really long time again. Like he was, um, it took a while for him to take our check and yeah. you know, and this just was stuff not like a new that. guy. I think he was a little above average. Like he did explain things and he made some good recommendations, mm -hmm. but at the same time, we can't discount the obvious slow service there. So we gave it a three and a half. Yep, drinks. Drinks were drinks. good. Um, Dan got the old fashioned. I got the, um, what was that called? Cucumber? I have no idea. Cucumber Collins was what that was called. Um, Yours was better actually. I really enjoyed mine. It was very refreshing. Like I would love to figure out how to make that so I could have it like sitting out on a hot day by the pool. Um, Cause it was, it was a very refreshing drink. Um, your first old fashioned was not mixed perfectly well. It was very, very strong. So we, uh, I got two old fashions, but we shared the second one. We did. So like <laughs> we got three drinks between us. Um, the first one was very, very strong. It was not made appropriately. The ratios were off between the simple syrup and the bitters and the bourbon uh, It was still fine. In there. I mean, because it, okay. it was a good bourbon, but. Um, yeah, but the second one was, it was much better made. What's weird to me is the glasses were different that came out. Mm. So there's no consistency there. So the consistency in the mix of the drink is not the same. And the consistency in the glassware is not the same, which it wasn't like somebody scooped out ice and just tried to make it real quick behind a bar, like a server, and then just threw it out. So it was probably my least favorite of a quality old fashioned that I've mm. gotten at Disney. So um, above average, but only just slightly, we gave it a three and a half. Yep. So food. Food was good. Um, the bread is a local um, bakery that brings, that has the bread brought in or whatever. And um, the butter was house made. Um, that was a fantastic start to the meal. I got the seafood pasta, um, which was good. It was, um, it was not my favorite seafood pasta I've ever had. I feel like it was a little misled on pasta. Yeah. There was very little pasta there. Anyway, um, I think it was overpriced. Um, I did have a nice chunk of lobster on there, so that was lovely, and a couple of scallops. But as far as everything else went, I feel like it was overpriced for what I got. Um, and then, but your, I really enjoyed your fish. The fish was good. Red snapper. I can't remember ever having red snapper. It was wrapped in this thin uh, potato and seared. It was really good, but it wasn't like blow me away. I have to come back here and have this again, mm -hmm. good. And so like when I think of that type of meal, it doesn't have to be expensive, but this thing was $58 plus the $21 accompaniment of three scallops, just because we wanted to try scallops and we didn't realize that scallops came in yours. Um, so yeah, but $58 for this red snapper, which was, you know, I, I, I kind of like you, like it was good, but it wasn't worth $58. Yeah. I, I think of the boathouse and I'm thinking of the Gibson burger, which I think is like $18. I, I, I want to go back and have that burger. <laughs> like I dream about that burger. And so it's not a, a matter of price or quality. It's, 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 it's what they do with it. And it's like, I would take a bite and one would be really, really good. And one would be like 
overly salty. Mm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, it just wasn't consistent again. Like the drinks were consistent, but but it, I think it was a little bit better than the drinks. It was definitely above average, but not like my favorite meal ever. Yeah. I, I honestly don't ever have to go back to flying fish. Yeah, so we rated the food at a four. Um, we did get a dessert as well, the chocolate dessert, which was a lot of chocolate, but it was good. Um, mm. And so we rated the food at a four. I kind of bounce around, it, that, that leads it out to be a 3.75. I think that's probably well deserved. I think it probably falls somewhere between a three and a half and 3.75 for me, um, a little bit more. So, but it's yeah. it's one of those places that I'm glad I went and experienced it. It was delicious. Um, if I were to pick a date night at Disney, I would pick somewhere else. Well, and this ended up being about $10 less than what we just spent at Toledo, which was a very expensive meal. This was a very expensive meal. I would much, much rather go eat at Toledo for a $10 difference. We had way more food. We came home with a, a quite a bit of food, enough to feed both of our kids with a little bit of, <laughs> I mean, we we heated up some pizza rolls and that was their side, but <laughs> it was enough for two extra meals basically. So we essentially got four meals out of the Toledo meal mm -hmm. for an extra $10 and it was much better. It was a much better experience. It was just better all the way around. I would much rather have that than flying fish and I, I, I just, I can't, I can't do these reviews and not compare them to each other. Because I know it's really hard. <laughs> that's what we're dealing with. I mean, and I honestly, like while I love Toledo and I would probably go there, I think I still would go back to the boathouse, like just to sit yeah. out on the deck and um, the food is always top notch. The service is always top notch, you know, like, so it's hard to not compare and contrast. The different places. It very much is. All that to say, you know, Flying Fish wasn't subpar, but I probably won't be back. Yeah. They definitely had some hiccups tonight. So yeah. if you're liking our reviews, please hit that like and subscribe button so that you don't miss the next one. And we will see you on the next video.